Welcome to Grey Saints High School. As a school, Grey Saints likes to align itself with its three key school values. Respect, responsibility and active learning. It is key that we must abide by and follow these values to in the end achieve our ultimate goal, success, as we we'll always smile upon effort. Today, you will experience what a typical day is like for a student at Grey Saints High School. To start off the day, students will attend house groups as a part of either Monash, Gilmore, Bradman or Parks at 8.25 or 9am on a Wednesday where their attendance will be recorded and once a term will attend a house assembly where awards and speeches will be presented on the half of the school and its student bodies. Then students will attend first period, for example, English. In English, various texts will be explored as a part of the New South Wales school curriculum, where you will learn a variety of visual and literary techniques composers use, and so will be required to break down and evaluate their significance in our culture, as well as its meaning in our society. A topic test or assessment task will be issued for every student to grade your level of understanding of each unit of work you study throughout the school year. Second period will run for the same 75 to 80 minutes first period went for, but will be in a different classroom and with a different teacher, much different from primary school. For example, your second period class could be mathematics, where one would be exposed to higher and more technical levels of maths than previously explored in primary school. Some new concepts that will be explored will involve algebra and the solving of linear equations, shapes and their properties, as well as financial mathematics. Although it may not seem interesting at first, our school prides itself by making each and every lesson as interactive as possible to keep students interested. Some ways include the use of technology and various hands-on activities. Third period may involve a subject such as PDHPE, where students will learn about various parts of the human body including muscles, bones and organs, as well as explore the effects of different substances on our bodies. Students will also be required to contribute in physical lessons where the students will be tested on their sporting abilities and athletics and other sporting events such as rugby league, soccer, AFL and cricket. This does not mean you have to be the best at sport. The overall mark is awarded based on a variety of criteria including ability, knowledge, teamwork, leadership and effort. The school may also make you study a foreign language as a part of your schooling. For example, fourth and last period of the day may be Japanese, where students will be required to study their culture and learn their language. Students are not expected to be able to speak Japanese fluently, as if you were speaking it every day, but only expect you to be able to communicate basic words and phrases in Japanese, such as hello, how are you, different names, ages, foods, places, numbers, and common slang terms to further your knowledge in Japanese language and culture. Each period will be separated by a break where students can relax, communicate and participate in sport in the various ovals, the quad and basketball courts located in various locations of the school. Students will also be expected to use the toilets and or talk to teachers about other activities outside of the classroom in these breaks. There will be three breaks in total. The breaks between first and second period and second and third period are referred to as recess one and recess two, which run for 15 minutes each. Third and fourth period is separated by a 30 minute lunch time, which has two halves where the bell will be sounded at half time. This is the only time in the day students will be allowed to access the bottom oval outside of sport in PDHPE. The school also provides the option to participate in extracurricular activities. An example of this includes the Japanese visit, where every year students from Japan travel to Australia to indulge themselves in our way of schooling and education as a part of their study of the English language and Western culture. 
students may be lucky enough to participate in this but must be a part of Japanese as a subject or the school SRC to participate. Although some students may be handpicked by teacher coordinators to help if there is any need for it. Thank you for watching this video on Grace Saints High School and we hope to be seeing you soon.